Hey guys, today I am going to show you um, the dotted versus lined in a metallic Lloyd's Term 1917 bullet journal. Um, or actually, I don't think they call them bullet journals. I think they just call them notebooks because it's not the official bullet journal. Now, I have shown my dotted, which is this one. I have shown my dotted in a whole nother video where I reviewed the metallics and went through their coloring and their ribbon colors and all that. So I'm not going to go through all that in this video. I will link that video below where I review the copper, the gold, and the silver metallic bullet journals in the dotted. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I'm moving all my stuff trying to get this other journal. Um, let me get us fixed back. So I have a whole nother video that reviews all three of the metallics and they were all in the dotted and I will link that below. It talks extensively about all three of them and the labels and the ribbon covers and everything about them. So I will link that video. This video is just going to be about comparing the dotted and the lined because I have actually never seen a Lloyd's term lined. But I loved the metallic so much, and I knew they wouldn't be around after this year. That's what they told me. And so I really wanted to try one of their lined notebooks because I could see myself using it for my normal journaling or my scripture journaling. And I really think for normal journaling, for me, where I'm just constantly writing, you know, in sentence and paragraph form or scripture journaling, that I would want the lined. And I hadn't seen one of their lined, but I ordered it. So here is just the lined next to the dotted. All right, I know that's probably hard to see from this far away, so I'm gonna hold it up close and tell you some things that I'm noticing. The paper looks about the same color to me, and the dots and the lines look about the same light, light gray. It's just the dots maybe come across as a little bit darker because the line is drawn different. It's just the way the coloring is coming across. So on the lined paper, you have at the top room for your date, and that line's a little bit wider. But all the other lines, you know, are not wider until you get to the bottom and you have your nice new page numbers, which I talked about in my um, metallic bullet journal video, which is linked below. Talked about how they changed their page numbers, or maybe they were just different in the metallic. And that's it. The whole journal is that. And this is the silver metallic, so you have the ribbons that match. Oh, yeah, well, let's look at the beginning. You have a page for your name and your, you know, information for if you lose it. And that's an extra thick page there. And then they do actually give you a table of contents in the front. So if you want to remember where you wrote something or maybe just jot the dates down, it does have a place for page number topic or subject next. So that's kind of nice because I never thought of this. If like a big event happens in your life or whatever and you want to note the page so you can go back and read about that day later, that's kind of nice if you're using this as just a normal journal like that. Or if I was using it as like a scripture study journal, you know, I could put like a topic that I read about on that day so I can go back and find it and what page it's on when I wrote about it. But there's only two pages. So of course you can't, you know, put every topic you studied into here or every exciting journal entry. There's only two pages of index right there, or they call it the contents. And then it starts right off on your dated pages, right after that. So that is the way your pages look and your lines. And if I remember, oh guys, I'm sorry, I made a note of this somewhere and then I forgot to carry it with me. I thought I looked up if the lines or the dots, if one of them was a little bit thicker. So I'm going to hold this up here and try to see visually with my eyes right now. And you know what? The lines and the dots are really lining up to me. The two lines are pretty much lining up to the dots. The lines might be like the teeny tiniest bit wider but I have it lined up down there and I can't lift it up keeping it lined up, but it really looks lined up to me. So I will hold it up close. Here is your dotted bullet journal for those that don't have either versus your lined bullet journal. And that's your up close, what it looks like. 
Now, I use my dotted bullet journal for my, you know, ongoing lists and charts and keeping track of stuff book. Um, I kind of call it my everything book right now. I haven't really come up with a better word for it. And I do like having the dotted for that because sometimes I'm doing columns down or rows of things or lines. And that is nice. And I don't mind writing across just with the dots to guide me. But I decided I could write a lot neater because I'm not super great at that with the dots. If I'm just journaling and I'm not going to be drawing any columns or charts or whatever, just for my straight on journaling, I would rather have lines. And so that's why I ordered one of these to try. And I thought I would show you guys because I had not seen um, a comparison. I just thought of you guys. I actually have a plain um, Lloyd Sturm plain paper that I would just show in here too, even though probably no one needs a plain paper. My youngest son actually asked for this for his birthday <laughs> coming up after seeing mine. So this um, is a plain paper Lloyd's germ. And since I was doing it about the dotted versus the line, there's your lines. And here's your dotted versus Plain, plain, you just have the page numbers. That is it. There is absolutely nothing else on the page. It's the same color paper. You know, Leuchtturm has a little bit of creaminess to it, um, but not a huge amount. Like here's Leuchtturm next to a white, white legal pad from Target. So it looks a lot creamier when you see that, but it's actually not that creamy if you're just seeing it straight on. So there's your comparison. I actually love the color of this paper. When my younger son, who's eight turning nine, saw me with these and saw me using it and said, what is this? This, this looks like parchment. This book looks cool. Let me see this and what can you get on it? Oh, the dots, oh, the lines. And I said, oh, you can get it plain. So. Yeah, he's getting this one for his birthday coming up. And um, since I had it, I just thought of it in the middle of the video, I would go grab it. So we have the lines, the dotted, which I ran through, and the plain. The plain is just the page numbers. It is plain, plain, beautiful. They're 80 pound paper. So it's not, you know, extra thick, but it's not super thin. Always feels good. Their paper has a good tooth to me. and has those great page numbers. And even in the plain book, they give you two pages of the contents at the front. So even in the plain book, if you want to chronicle and they have the same label and everything, maybe what drawings you've done or what lists you've made or what you've written about, um, you have the same two pages of contents and then extra page on the back. And then you start right into page one, just like the other books. So there you go. That's your Lloyd's Germ plain dotted and lined journals all right guys thanks so much for watching thank you for supporting if you want to see that full review on the metallic set i will have that below in the description box have a great day and we will see you next time